Oracle Apex is a developer tool that enables us to create working applications on a database in Oracle and to do that very quickly. So in this video series for rapid application development, we will be using Apex 424. If you want to work along with the videos, there are scripts available that will be run in the first few videos that create tables and populate the tables with data. So I'm, we're about finished in creating this prototype application. There are a lot of things we could add that would make this more full-featured and user-friendly, but this is uh, near the end of the video series. I want to go into Application Builder, and what I want to do at the end here is I want to designate some of these pages as public so that you do not have to log in to access those pages. So I'm going to run the application and I'm going to edit the home page and I will actually come up here to at the top of page rendering and double click on the properties of the page as a whole and we have security. So you can scroll down or click and it'll just filter on the security section. So I'm going to make this page public and that means that nobody will have to log in for access to this particular page. So I'm going to apply those changes, that change, and I'm also going to come back to the application and run it. And I'm just going to pick one of these um, teams and well, let's see. It could be a couple, actually. Uh, but I'm going to I'm going to go with student teams, clicking on that, and I'm going to make this report itself. I'll go ahead and make that public as well. So I edit the page properties and say this is a public page. And there are others that I might want to do that with, but certainly not the ones for evaluations and student uh, detailed data. Now, how do we know what the application URL is? I'm going to move the browser down just a little bit. We are seeing, in this case, I'm using uh, Oracle on a local install, and this would be the URL. If you got it up on a server, you'd see the server name here, followed by the, uh, with the colon 8080 forward slash apex forward slash and then what you need is everything up to the first colon to get the actual application URL. I'm going to copy that and I'm going to open a different browser to show you. Of course this is locally installed not on a server so it's not going to be accessible out on the internet but I'm going to paste this in and show that I can actually access this page without logging in because it's now a public page. I can access student teams and then I can back out. But when I click on something else like projects, I get the login prompt because those have not been designated as public pages. So now I know uh, which page, I've set some pages as public and I know what the URL, URL is for the application. I'm going to get rid of that browser and I'm still in design mode here so I guess the other thing I should point out when you come into this let me shrink this up a little bit when you come in through the browser directly to the URL you do not get your designer toolbar here even if you log in as a designer so there's none of that uh, access to the underlying application features I want to go back to my application at this point though. So I'll click on that. Uh, actually go out, out to the home for Apex. I want to go to team development. Go to the to-do. Ben is still lacking something. So we'll come in here. I am actually logged in as Ben. As if I scroll down I see I'm developer Ben and I can do a sort and I see test the peer evaluation form I'll come in here and say that's been done and create the master detail detail and I can now say that that has been done so when I come back out to my dashboard 
zero percent incomplete. Everybody has finished what they have been assigned. Oh, something else I could show you here that I hadn't uh, is if you assign dates to these when these are due, you can click on the calendar feature and it will actually bring up the specific items for that specific, specific date. So that's a nice feature also and trying to get a handle on who's doing what and when things must be uh, finished. I'm going to come back to my application and run it. I'm essentially done. I wanted to comment here that this is running off my desktop Oracle XE. When I do this application off the my Oracle server, I do not see the buttons in this sequence. I see them uh, each one on a new row. So I am not sure, because I'm not that familiar with the 424 version, I'm not sure why this is happening because I use the same 424 upgrade uh, for both the local XE and the uh, Oracle server. If you want to, just in playing around with this, if you wanted to get those on separate rows, uh, I was able to do that. What I'm missing here and what should, there's something here in the grid layout. It says start new row and it's not doing it. Um, and I see that also in the other one. So I'm not really sure what's what's working or what's not working here. So I'm going to, if I select column and column one, span one, and I click apply changes and then run that, it'll force everything for some reason and I don't have an explanation for it, it will force everything in, on the buttons to a new row. So that's the end of this particular series. Um, I will. There are two other videos that I created using the previous version that I may not recreate uh, that show a couple of other uh, useful things in terms of how to display data uh, for using master detail. And also one, uh, the, the second video shows how to get the database schema and view that so that you can see clearly what the tables are and what the relationships are between the, the tables and that's using Oracle SQL Data Modeler. So now you've got a working prototype. Oracle Apex has done a very nice job of giving us something that's very functional uh, very quickly so it's a very useful developer tool.